All right, welcome back. On this video, I want to talk about email marketing strategies. Email marketing is a very important, very vital part of internet business. And I want you to understand it from a different perspective. I want you to understand it from the strategy part, the process of not just getting an email or sending an email, but actually setting up a follow-up series so that you can uh, create a relationship with your um, email subscribers, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read quickly this, uh, what I call the overview, and then go over it with you, right? So uh, get your pen and pad if you need a pen and pad, or just replay, replay this video at your will, at your leisure, and uh, you'll be able to understand exactly what I, what I understand. Now, email marketing strategy. Would you like to learn how to reach millions of inbox followers through your email broadcast system? Yes, you would. Thanks for coming. <laughs> so in order to truly connect with your audience and in order to reach the maximum amount of people, learning how to properly utilize an email marketing list is absolutely necessary. Okay? Now, uh, the number one piece of advice for you as you begin your email marketing journey or building relationships with thousands across the world is that in order to build trust and relationships with your avatar customer, you have to be vulnerable and open and you must also provide your customers with value. Is that making sense? That also came from a guy by the name of Miles Beckler. He tweeted that. Uh, and I tweeted it also, and I'm sharing that also, because I believe that. <clears throat> now, each one of the people on your email list is a very real person with real challenges, real problems, and issues that you can help them with. However, if you only email them every time you want to sell a product or promote something, you lose your credibility and consequently you lose the ability to help those very real people with their everyday challenges. Now, if you write to the people on your email marketing list as if you're writing to your best friend, your favorite cousin, uh, real relationships will begin to form. That is the powerful way that that works. That will happen for sure. Now. One of the things you have to do is just start right. Just start. Just begin. And as you begin, things will start to fall into place for you. You'll be able to structure things the way you think. right? And another thing is to use plain text, not an HTML format email. Plain text is effective because it looks like an authentic email that you would send to your friends or coworkers. The second tip is to use a bigger font size. Uh, since most people have email apps on their phones and read their emails on their phones, a larger font size is much more readable for those type of devices. Also consider your target audience. An older font is, e uh, older font is easier for the older demographic to read. Uh, next, carefully choose your subject line. Your subject line is so incredibly important. If your subject line does not compel your customer to open the email, then everything you've written in the email is useless. And write your emails yourself. Utilize the language that you use on a daily basis. That's right. Just like you're talking to me, you talk in your email just like that. Because we each have a unique voice. And if you channel that unique voice, your authenticity will be apparent and valued by every single customer who reads your email. Now, generally speaking, once someone signs up for an email list, you should already have a follow-up sequence in place. And first, you have, the first thing you have is a giveaway. Okay, so you give away and you need to make sure that it's deliverable and you are giving away the, a valuable piece of information to your prospective client or customer, right, or email subscriber. Now, 
people have to subscribe for your free guide or email and now you have them on that list now they are captured right you have captured their email num email list email name or address and once you have that then you're able to send them a series of emails or contact them whenever you want to and this is how you start to build a relationship with the customers in, a, in an effective manner and that's number one the first email you send out after they receive that email for the free gift is um, your first email is to be delivered with valuable content based on the subject that they're interested in. In other words, whatever your your advertisement covers, if it covers business, if it covers fitness, if it covers fruits and vegetables, then that information needs to be valuable for that email subscriber to consider signing up, right? Second is you have to tell your story. Be open and vulnerable but don't tell your entire autobiography. Everyone wants to know what's in it for me. They don't want to know what's in it for you. They want to know what's in it for them. But it's okay to tell a little bit about who you are, a little bit about how you got to be who you are. All right? Uh, the, th the next thing is a key strategy is to begin your story at the climax, the battle scene, the movement the, I'm sorry, the moment of emotional conflict, right? When you tell a story like that, then you get people kind of sitting on the edge of their seat or really interested. And that lets the reader know that tomorrow you're going to share an epiphany that you had that helped you get through that thing that you were dealing with, right? Success is also on the other side of failure. So use key moments or personal failures as a teaching opportunity to help others avoid the pitfalls of internet marketing. When that email shows up in your reader's inbox the next day, your previous email will still be fresh in their memory and they will be more likely to read it. You see, we're playing a psychological game here. Have you picked up on that? You have to enter the person's mind at where they are and you have to process them. If, if I'm thinking going this way and then all of a sudden you come into my mind and you want me to go that way, it has to be something very compelling for me to go that way or something that captures my interest. If it doesn't, I'm still going that way. That makes sense? Okay, email number three is you share that epiphany. For example, I realized that people who build sustainable businesses online all have an email list. Once I started building my email list, my business began to grow exponentially. Everything began to fall into place, and I discovered so many hidden benefits that I never would have guessed existed. Now, that also opens up another loop here by mentioning the hidden benefits. So tomorrow you can share those benefits. Your epiphany is the power of an email and your follow-up email will take will talk about those hidden benefits that you mentioned. Clever, right? <laughs> email number four, <clears throat> deliver your promise. In the previous email you promised to share the hidden benefits of email marketing and now you just need to deliver that promise. It's also important to consider which hidden benefits of email marketing will be most helpful for your audience. Maybe those benefits are email marketing allows me to work from anywhere or email marketing allows me to stay in contact with people all over the world. Or maybe even email marketing has helped me lower my stress level and how, not, and how I'm now much happier and healthier. You have to figure that out for yourself which hidden benefits you want to use. And finally, Email number five needs to be an urgent call to action. Never forget those. That is the deal breaker right there. This is not the moment where you try to get money from people. Instead, this is the moment when you present a sales message and depending on how well you present it, you might make a sale. Just present your offer 
in the email as a very clear call to action to get them to read your sales letter. The more they realize that you are genuinely that you genuinely want to help them and more likely they are eventually to buy something from you or to use a product that you recommend. This whole process of email marketing or opening the loop of writing the, per the perfect email takes time. It's a learning curve and a challenge. But luckily, you don't have to position yourself as an expert who has everything figured out. Share your challenges, your struggles, what's being inspiring, what you've learned. Freely give of yourself and people will respect that. You'll start to building authentic and lasting connections. And those connections are the whole point of email marketing. Now, I just read that to you. Did you understand that? If you didn't understand that, you can play it back, right? You can play it back and then you'll be able to get a better understanding. But you can do that. Now, I know a lot of people say, well, I'm not a good reader. I'm not a good reader. But you understood what I read, right? <laughs> I mean, you can read well enough, and what will happen is over time you'll get better. That's how that works, right? I like to read, and I read a lot. But, you know, I read a lot to myself. But, you know, I can read to you too if you want me to. And I want to read to you. I want you to understand some of the things that I know by me reading to you, and maybe you can catch it where I caught it, right? Because when you get it, you got it. You got it. Now, now no one has to tell you again how that works and how important email marketing is to your system. Now, you're setting up, setting up a system that you want to be successful, right? You want a successful online business based on your niche, right? All that's possible. All that's doable. You simply have to follow me for a while, then follow someone else for a while, and then follow someone else for a while, and as you putting all that information together that you're following us to get, then you're kind of molding or restructuring who you are. And nobody's perfect. Don't look at anybody as being better than you. They're not better than you. They're just more versed at what they do than you are. Because most things are skills. And if this is a skill, if I did this regularly, if I had to do this every day, can you imagine how good I would be at this? But I don't have to do that. And you don't have to either. You can do it at your own pace. That's the beauty of having an online business. I really want you to think about that in 2018 because that is the key to the castle, to the kingdom. That will get you the life and the lifestyle that you, that you seek. Freedom. It will give you that. And you can have it. You simply have to gain a couple of skills and stop being around people who are negative, <laughs> tell you you can't do it, and uh, put your best foot forward. You know, you're going to fail your way to success. That's the way that works. I enjoy sharing these videos with you guys. I hope you enjoy uh, listening and uh, or watching, and uh, stay tuned for the next. SpeedyLarry.com.